That's right. I would certainly consider that. Get us out move, of move everybody into the forward part of the train and then... <laughs> Yeah. Not too for traction. No, no, it's too no. much weight. No, but I mean, for that way you leave the cars behind and the people eat up here while you're going back. No, we just might have to just do half, half seas as long as we get out. Yeah. He's having a bad day. Because he wanted to try to be out of there by five. That's right. But they held him back to 5.30. Oh, they did, so you were right. That was wrong. Yeah, because that was, that was the advertised leaving time. Yeah, so. Alan says, I want to get the hell out of here by 5. Oh. For this exact reason. Ah. Well, in case something happens, you still have a couple minutes to flirt with, but now he's going to be rushing all the way now. Fudge time, because it's 20. You see a forecast at 499, the east calling, you know, tell me this bad, It's 20 to 7. It's not black enough. Somebody threw some coal in there. Should be coming to you right now. Stay moving, stay moving. Keep your fingers, keep your fingers yeah. and toes crossed. <coughs> this is railroading at its finest. Here we go. <laughs> yes. It comes to heaven. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, did I hit you? No, no, no. Is that, is that a little flatter spot right there? Where the, where the locomotive is? No. No. It's pretty constant. It doesn't flatten off until you get the trucks over the sevens. Yeah. Is it moving? Is it moving? I was going to say, if you want to tell them to hop off, if they want to get pictures, I guess I could. Uh, Lou, you can let people off if they're willing to get out and just drizzle to get good pictures. That person, so there's the engineer, he's good. He's a good video engineer. He'll stay on the engine and John is fine. Uh, but they might switch. Yeah. Like that, after this. Start pushing it. <laughs> you know what? I rode, uh, was it 487 one day? One of Tim's sons was uh, running it down to the line back. I threw one shovel full of coal in the firebox because I was the lookout farmer from the yard down to the wire back. <laughs> so there, I meant to do an answer. Come on now, that's just how it's good. Yeah. 
structure that's built over the track must be to keep the snow off the track, and hopefully to keep the line open in the winter. Ours didn't work too good because our steam locomotive set them on fire. <laughs>
I'm not even cold. No, it's not. get up to Windy Pass, we're going to start the climb, the big climb, the 4% grade. What are you, oh, are you, uh, camera? Mm-hmm.
Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm watching. Been like this since two o'clock. Yeah. It started raining here too. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah.
get out and push. All right, copy on that. Thank you much. We're not making no progress, guys. If we can maybe even get another motor car up front of us and drop some sand along the way over. All right. Um, yeah, stand by, stand by here. Uh, we'll be getting back with you shortly, over. Affirmative. We're not going anywhere. Uh, Stebbins, uh, 44, just stop what you're doing there, over. One ball to get out of here. Uh, Harry, just stop what you guys are doing there. We're not making no progress at all. The shot guys are coming up with some sand now, and we're going to have to come up with a plan, guys. Somebody's going to go in front of us and drop sand in front of us, over. Affirmative, yeah, just wait there till the shop guys get here. Uh, conductor 216 to dispatch, you copy that, over. Uh, TMTS dispatch answering train 216216. Uh, I'm talking to Avery here. Uh, he thinks probably what we're going to need to do is send a helper up for you. Uh, can you get in into uh, uh, between switches that Lovato over? Uh, negative. We cannot. We're below Lovato. We need some sand also. If they can bring some sand to us, then we can make it up there over. Okay, uh, I'm not sure Avery has sand, uh, but he is talking about sending a uh, helper up there. So uh, if you can get between switches at Lovato, uh, I'll be sending orders and additional instructions over. We're trying to wait, but I doubt it. We're going to need some sand up here. We're going to try to work in now, shovel some dirt or something on the rail. Do a 16 ounce. Stop here and let that other train go in front of us. Yeah, that's where we're going to go around in front of us.
He's going to stop here and let that other train go in front of us. Yeah, that's where we're going to go around in front of us. Yeah, go around a lot of movies filmed along the railroad, most of them pretty bad movies. <laughs> over to the left is the Rio Tama, Tama River coming down from Colorado. It's flowing on down to join the Rio Grande River down at Española. We never cross the Continental Divide on the railroad, even though we go over a 10,000 foot path. We're uh, completely within the headwaters of the Rio Grande.
Get out and push. I copy on that. Thank you much. We're not making no progress, guys. Yeah, if we can maybe even get another motor car up front of us and drop some sand along the way, over. Mike, um, yeah, stand by here. Uh, we'll be getting back with you shortly, over. Affirmative. We're not going anywhere. Uh, Stevens, uh, 44, just stop what you're doing there, over. One ball to get out of here. Uh, Harry, just stop what you guys are doing there. We're not making no progress at all. The shot guys are coming up with some sand now, and we're going to have to come up with a plan, guys. Somebody's going to have to go in front of us and drop sand in front of us, over. Affirmative, yeah, just wait there till the shot guys get here. Uh, conductor 216 to dispatch, you copy that, over. Uh, TMTS Dispatch answering train 216216. Uh, I'm talking to Avery here. Uh, you think probably what we're going to need to do is send a helper up for you. Uh, can you get in into uh, uh, between switches that Lovato over? Uh, negative. We cannot. We're below Lovato. We need some sand also. If they can bring some sand to us, then we can make it up there over. Okay, uh, I'm not sure Avery has sand, uh, but he is talking about sending a uh, helper up there. So uh, if you can get between switches at Lovato, uh, I'll be sending orders and additional instructions over. We're trying to wait, but I doubt it. We're going to need some sand up here. We're going to try to work in now, shovel some dirt or something on the rail. Do a 16 hours. Banana muffin, okay. Uh, 84, go ahead, Stephen. Yeah, make it wet real. We got to bring the light bulb. We got to bring the light bulb. We got to the light bulb. We got to bring 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 the light bulb. Until the coal burns down the coat, gets all the rock and celery stuff out of it, and then it burns a lot cleaner. And you can tell whatever he's shoveling, which is a great deal of the time coming up the hill. So we get all this smoke. Sometimes we get the wind blowing straight back down the valley, and it's a really dirty trip. I ride back home with a black beard.
getting off the pump race pass and it's not a regular stop. We'll be stopping up there for water. Uh, anybody in the car here getting off at pump race? A special arrangement? Do, do not get off when you're there. But uh, somebody has special arrangements here for stop there. <laughs>
about a dozen up the other side, which is why Chama was there to assemble trains, take care of the locomotives. Number of cattle grazing, typically about 4,500 cattle up here. The Forest Service does a survey every winter, determines the carrying capacity. And uh, we often see cowboys moving the cattle around from one pasture area to the other, all set up and regulated by the Forest Service.
Come on, quick, quick, quick. The train's back in faster. Ready, all that soot that's going to come from the smoke tech, you're going to get covered. What? You're going to get covered. You get covered in that stuff. Is the king ready to go? Here we go. Oh, okay. oh I have a friend who graduated from Poco. And, and, well, uh, I was going to Poco until I built my, my senior year. I was transferred to Mary Island. Wow. Well, you would have missed Kim because Kim was younger than us. So uh, he would have been before you. Yeah, Kim lived in the high school. He was from the land. He was from the land. He Poco. But um, our dearest friends in Orlando were the one that raised in Orlando. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, we, when we first moved here, we did Gary's house again, loved it. And then, uh, 
uh, 33rd Street now is the uh, the, the, uh, the lockup. That's everyone in town knows 33rd Street. That's its thing. Thing to thing now is the county lockup, which is where you get locked up. It's where you get It's a county, city, uh, county, city, uh, city, uh, all the jails, and everything at 33rd Street. Well, I tell you, a few years ago when the kids were smaller. Yep, we got backpackers. We have to take halfway and drop off. I figured I'm going to drop off and find the old house. So I dropped off the interstate. And I did. Did you? Yep, we have to take the backpackers up halfway. And then we'll have to pick them up when we get back. Maybe, I don't know. I was looking at it and focusing attention on the back. Huh? It looks like coal. It is. Yeah, it's real coal. Because this is coal fired engines. Yeah. Coomers and Toltec is coal fired. About three blocks away where my elementary school was, we had 10 foot cyclone fences with barbed wire on the top. And I used to walk to school, no big deal. But it, it arrived. It, that, that's why I didn't think you could find it. That whole area is totally changed. You know? They found everything down nearly there. And like I say, 30 Bird Street, that's where they built the three block on it. It's a huge block. Well, you know, by now it might. That was probably. Maybe it's gone now. Maybe. We just, you know, we saw so many changes in Orlando in the first years we were there. My parents actually moved That's why we chose Orlando because they were there. We come down.
You can go if you want. You can go through. Is this where we catch the train? Which one are you catching? 845. 840? You mean the 830? It's boarding at 830. And then 845 is where you catch it here, yeah. The, by the plat the station. Come on, stand clear. Here we go. All the way around here to the front. We can go this way. Yeah, you okay. can go through here. Thank Be careful you. of the train. Because it's departing. Yeah, don't run over, yeah. Yeah. You might not want to stand in the middle of the tracks. What happened? What happened? This is a weird. He shouldn't have stopped like that. They pushed the air brake. They hit, pushed him wrong. <laughs> Come on, turn on your sander.
the... Oh, we might be making a water stop along the way. And look, we got some speeder cars behind us, folks. From Durango to follow us to make sure everything's going okay. I don't know as much as I used to know. I'm trying to figure it out. Hey, what are you doing? We caught you. If you're looking for gold, there's no gold. It's silver. No. It's silver ore that's in there. It's not gold. Just hold on. We'll be going in one minute. Are we getting water or what? Oh, we're letting people off for the hikers, I guess. Oh, we're not? Something must be going wrong with 473. There's a water tower right there. Oh, there is? Okay, good. Yeah, she's in mining. Mining. Miners. Oh, that's a speeder car. It's called. Oh, yeah, we are in the house. That's where we're at. Because we go up a lot of grades going in. Because Silverton's higher up than us that we're at right now. I know there's a K-27 out there, 464. That's a, this is, that's what the last train is. It's 464 train out. But there's a real steamer called 464, a K-27 of the DRGW that's up in yeah, Michigan. Yeah. Huh? Kind of walk through there, it's crazy. You remember that, remember that old house in Ethel? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Find, house, I Find any silver out there? Yeah, I remember that crazy thing. It's gold? Silver, I thought so. I thought it was silver. Coins, yeah, that's good. She found silver coins out there. She can become rich with all that stuff that's in the water. Not well, that much. Looks like she lives up here. Rich anyway. afford to live here. Yeah, it is. Good. She found one. She said, "She got it. She showed it to us when you weren't looking. She showed it, and it's silver. It's actual good, good silver. Yep, it's silver because there's silver ore in the water." She found one already. Yeah, I, see, uh, I couldn't hear. Her, yeah, she know. found one because she has a metal detector to detect. Yeah, That's what she said. She even showed it. Yeah, I know. I see it. Yeah. I couldn't hear y'all talking. It's too hot. It is hot. It is hot. Yeah, in the sun it will be hot for a while, but when we turn on the high line, we'll, the sun will disappear. <clears throat> Yeah, we're going up a 4% grade. Yeah, you'll see on the bridge, the highlight. You have to get more. Wow. I guess at every convenient spot, they have to get water. Yeah. I thought they were fixing stuff. I would have waited and walked down there and there. Some silver. She found silver already in the water. Because there's only silver in here, not gold. 
She's going to be a millionaire, millionaire when she finds all of it. Because those things are worth one million bucks in re today's world. If you find it and stuff, it's worth that much. Don't take a right or a left. Makes a good picture. Yeah, we're just about to pick up the water spout now.
Cut it off. Get out. Let me get you on the Well, wait a minute, man. Wait a minute. They start backpedaling. I got to laugh. But you know, when the guy came out and he hooked it up, you can't help it if you put those services on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I lined them out real quick. And they didn't come back. You want to turn it off? Go ahead. I don't care. Go for it. <laughs> Is there empty seats back here? All there's a, there's a few, there. There's a few on this other side. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. Sir. Oh, that's all right. I'm just starting to walk. Hey, go for there it. Go. She's a, uh, go for it. She's a minor. Right there. You can set the mirror here. Yeah. Yeah, you got it? I think I got her in the picture here. We've got a, we got a know-it-all on our train, though. Oh. That's a minor down there? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. She said she found a coin a while ago, a silver coin. Worth a million dollars. We, we, we were hollering at her. It's hot in those cars up there. It's like cool back there. Yeah. Those cars in there are hot. <laughs> They probably didn't even know what a cotton wood tree is. Yeah, they're up here. I haven't seen any. There I don't know what they're I would assume it means already when it puts me in the I should have forked out $10 and got the book. Once again, what are we going to do with the book? Get, I, I got the book. I could find out what the whistles mean. <laughs> Don't look it up online. <laughs> two, two whistles mean we're getting ready to do the part. Yep, everyone wants our car. It's beautiful back here. Here, let's go take her. Are you sure your mom's okay with that? Hey, Mama, I gotta worry about Dad. I don't know if I'm gonna have her there. I'll have her there. See you later. Hey, Mama. The river won't be coming up for another while. We follow it pretty we, much all the way. We ha halfway we do, yeah. And then we, when we get on the High Line, we'll follow it all the way in. Right, right. There's 473. If you want your picture. Oh, look, there's more speeder cars coming. We got two more coming, speeder cars. Holy cow! Yeah! Hold on, wait till we turn around.
Here we go. If you want your picture, get it now before we lose it. A four from me three. Because this once we turn again, we won't see it for a while. Yeah, it's part a little lake I think for fishing. You just missed the engine to get your shot if you wanted to get 473. Because we won't be passing it seeing it for a while. Yeah, you can see it on this side if you stand on that side. Hey, I take pictures with the smoke all the time. Trust me, and I love it. Now we're leaving the road behind, so the rest is the high line. 